all said we were going to start on the front end of the car but I had these trailing arms sitting around and all the components to put it together so today I'm going to walk you through how to do an RSX rear brake conversion on a Civic or an Integra pretty sure it'll work on a Dell Soul 2 pretty much anything with rear disc uh, what you're going to need is EP3 rear rotors and RSX Type S or base model calibers and you can either use EP3 uh, pads or RSX pads. Alright so first I'm going to install the trailing arm bushing. I'm installing it with the logo facing towards the front of the car. I'm just going to use a little bit of multi-purpose lubricant. See it's fully seated and there's no damage. Alright, to install the wheel bearing, usually just press it on. Make sure it's lined up sitting straight. I use a 35 millimeter uh, socket. take a larger bit I believe it's 10 millimeters so the hole is wide enough for the supply bolts to fit through once you have both holes drilled out you're going to want to install the two bolts two 12 millimeter nuts on the back side, tighten this up, then we'll move to the toe arm and the camber arm. Once you reach this point and you have the two nuts tightened up on the back, we will move to the camber arm. There's usually a welded bolt here, but my bolt snapped off in it, so I grinded it off. The bolt size you need is an M10 by 1.25 by 60 millimeter. And you're just gonna Put the bolt through, tighten it up, leave it loose until you get it on the car so you can adjust it how you need it. And then for the toe, I have a spherical one I purchased off of eBay. The little brackets on the side were a little bit too long so I had to shave off a little bit. And once again, this bolt size is an M10 by 1.25, 60mm. So I just wanted to give a comparison of the RSX Type S brake caliber bracket compared to the stock Integra. As you can see it's much taller which will allow you to run the 10.25 inch rotor compared to the 9.5 of stock. Also this is the stock Integra rear caliber and this is the RSX. 
can see the RSX piston is clearly bigger, almost by a quarter inch. So I'm going to sand these down and get them ready for paint. Before I start painting, I'm going to take a paper towel and fill the holes for the slide pins and also where the brake line went on the caliber so no debris gets inside. And I'm just going to be using a Dremel tool and a drill with a wire brush on it to clean off any surface rust on these. So now they're pretty much cleaned up. Just have to do a few spots by hand. And tape them off and they'll be ready for paint. Now that I have everything taped off, I'm gonna start to lay some primer. I'm gonna do two coats of Duplicolor Engine Enamel Primer. And I'm going to do four coats of gloss black, same kind of paint, and then two coats of clear. Final assembly is pretty straightforward. I'm going to put the rotor on. I'm going to use the two Phillips head screws. If you don't have them, once you put the wheel on, it'll hold the rotor tight in place. Uh, you'll have two 14 millimeter bolts here for the caliber bracket. You're going to want to use the left side caliber on the right side. So the e-brake cable is facing the right way. You're going to also want to use the right side bracket on the left caliber. And that's pretty much it. Alright, just for comparison, this is an EP3 brake pad. As you see, it sits flush against the end and close to the inside. And this one here is an RSX Type S pad. Also sits close to the end and has good clearance on the inside. The only difference that I noticed was the uh, RSX pad was slightly thicker than the EP3. That's everything pretty much assembled. Everything spins freely. I haven't put in this piece in the trailing arm yet because when I put it on the car, I want to make sure I don't put it in too far to one side. The only thing I haven't installed yet is a caliber bracket, which is going to go right here. And then everything else should line up perfectly. Alright, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap it up. Just keep in mind that you have to use the left RSX caliber on the right side and you also need to use the e-brake cable bracket that the pin goes through off the Integra caliber.